Giving it all we got Giving it all we can Giving it all we got oh. Climbing up to the top of the world No fear, we're gonna make it Everything we want is ours Whoa. Hey guys, how you doing? How you doing? I'm Craig here in the Bon Nog in Thailand. That's right. I'm retired and uh, I live on our farm. Those inquiring minds who don't know already. And um, it is the end of another rainy day. It rained on and off during the day. I just kept working. It wasn't, it was torrential a couple of times, but fortunately I, had, I actually stopped for uh, lunch and then it was torrential but then it stopped and sprinkled so i got back to work but it's uh no wind so it's gonna get a little bit muggy but i took a shower so i'm all right i did take delivery while i was in the shower of course of my uh toma japan automatic water pump and i believe that means toma japanese technology that we copied <laughs> but uh Anyway, it's a good little pump. It's almost like the same one that I bought. That pump at the local hardware store is uh, 2,000 baht, maybe 2,100 thousand, or I mean, yeah, 2,100 baht, something like that. But on Lazada, 1,000 baht, 998 or something like that. Or maybe, you know, 1,000, I think. Yeah, 1,028 or something. But it goes right here, actually. And that's the pump that I mentioned before. The the main pump we have that's way over there, you know, it's not designed to push water all the way, like more than 40 meters or something like that. So I would suck it up here and give much better pressure to the house. But now I'm thinking, because of the way that that one died before, I, I think I might want to put a tank back here because we use old water pipe old irrigation pipe probably for half of this stuff because like oh let's save money you know bad idea because what that did was more than likely during the well water you know years 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 of well water it builds up just like a bad artery and just like when you have a heart attack or a stroke you know part of that part of that stuff that's built up breaks free you know if it's a breaks free on the artery going to your brain you're gonna have a stroke if it breaks free on the artery going to your heart you're gonna have a heart attack that's that's how it happens and um, in this case it breaks free and the little pieces go in, like rocks go into the automatic pump and then the impeller doesn't turn but the you know the spindle wants to so it's and then it burns so in an effort to reduce the risk of anything bad going into the pump I um, I think I could put a water tank there and um, as the water comes through here, I'll have it filtered again, you know, with a trap, a screen trap or whatever, cheesecloth like that, going into that tank so that I can hook up the pump just to the tank and I won't have to worry about that for the house. So I'll have, I'll have good pressure for the house and good water for the house. Uh, I mean, the water's real, it's good anyway, but you know, because I found out what happened on that, um, pump i know there's little pieces coming through there now so you know and maybe maybe it, it took a while you know maybe you know you're getting that good water through there for so long so the old stuff in the pipe finally breaks down and breaks free you know it's kind of like um it's it's just like i was saying about the artery your arteries you know you you've been eating mcdonald's your whole life and you know fattening out and stuff like that and you decide to go well, i'm gonna go exercise you know and um you're on a good regiment, but then you you change your diet, and you start drinking more, um, you know, like um, not, not well, not so much Gatorade, but you start drinking more what is really sweetened drinks, and um, or maybe you're taking aspirin, and you start to be able to push through that artery at a much faster rate, the blood flow. 
And well, sure enough, if your arteries are already clogged from years gone by and you're exercising going, oh, I feel great, I feel great, I feel great. <laughs> and then you're dead. That's how it works. So be careful. Don't try to uh, go on TikTok and uh, do your weight transformation in six weeks. You know, it's, you know, my recommendation for anybody that's trying to lose weight is very simple. It's going to be a very low effort over a longer period of time. It's kind of like, you know, when people are weight training, they want to be able to go, you know, like high, heavy weight and short amount of repetitions. And, you know, for endurance, you're looking at a, a very low weight and a very large amount of repetitions, you know, in the most basic sense. Uh, obviously, you want to do both, but um, a very low weight. If I lift that thing 100 times, by the time I get to 100, it's going to feel like it's 50 pounds and, and I'm doing it three times. So you're, you're gonna, you can get very much the same effect but it's better to do it over a longer period of time and so is losing weight yep here check it out look at that huh wow i put those purposely on both sides out here because i knew i was going to put this there once they all get going it's actually they're going over there too once all this is lit up and all that's lit up with the with the these flowers it's going to be pretty cool man out here on my bridge, I worked, whoo, kicked my ass. Because, you know, I've been thinking, I, I spent all last night and actually woke up at 3 in the morning and watched until 5 in the morning. But I, I, want, I wound up watching all the, how to build a, um, you know, a, um, what the hell is it called? Yeah, I forgot now. I just watched it all, all evening and last night. Um, a hip roof. I guess that's what you call it. Um, yeah, hip style roof uh, instead of a gable style roof. And the hip style is basically where you have, you know, the front or the ends slope down and the sides slope down. So it's almost like, you know, almost like all four sides have a slope, like a pergola or something like that. Because I need to start planning my roof for this thing, right? And, um, but I was really worried that my, um, you know, that my ends were not stable enough. Let's see if I can do this without falling because I don't got the camera in my hand. Darr. So what I did was, oh yeah. <laughs> so what I did was I basically added that double bolt right there this one was here holding that piece to this and uh, I added that so I bolted again down and bolted again down to give it that much more you know stability oh and I did that whoa that old six inch highway buddy whoa I did that for all of them I mean uh, you know I did Initially, they're bolted this way, but with that block up against the beam, like I didn't want to go like through the block sideways. You know, that's that's you could, but I think the block would have to be a like a floor by or something. But I did, you know, 16 penny nail it going through this way. I pre drilled and then nailed it from that side, so it's pretty secure. But I was worried that it wasn't secure enough, you know, going through my head. I gotta do it, I gotta do it. And I just happened to go to the market on Sunday. And I saw all those brackets, like in, you know, I, I always go on the, the back side of the market, which is all the secondhand stuff, tools and everything. And I just, when I was actually looking for that, looking for brackets. And those are very robust, very good. And I think they were probably even used for that kind of thing before. So I, I scored it. And then I wanted to, to um, get them on there. So I, I put them all on there. And uh, now that thing is even more stable. But I still worry about how I'm going to set up the, you know, the side. Like, because the posts, you know, they're old or whatever, but I already have the beam in place. 
and the bolts going through the cement, you know, uh, seat on that post. And I, I have to, means I, ha I have to build up on top of that to get, you know, the, the post for the, for the pergola or whatever. I'm not the pergola, for the roof. But, uh, and speaking of roofs or whatever, you guys remember what this looked like, right? Well, what I did was, you can see this, um, that, that, that trim that I put there, well, instead of the, the, um, the regular gray cement post, I put the, the, uh, what's it called? The shear board on the front facade of both of those posts. And I also moved in two of the benches from over on the other side I had over there, uh, because I'm building a barbecue station over there. But so I, I moved those two benches here and I think I'm going to actually stain the benches this same color um i just put those buffalo head underneath <laughs> underneath there because uh they were sitting there and i thought yeah i just put them underneath there so uh but i didn't really i i did this so i could see kind of what it looked like uh which I, I i like it so i'm gonna go ahead and continue it but um what i did was i just temporarily put that there so this is pretty cool but it's only temporary you can see right here yeah i just have it right here so what I'll do though is because I have more of these, um, I'm gonna go ahead and and I'll I'll fill this in, put another one here, another one here. So I'll, I'll basically square it all up with the extra ones so it's it's adhered to it. Yeah, that looked pretty cool. Little improvements. Hey, speaking of which, remember I told you I was making clay, and uh, well I got my. My first little attempt. Get out of there, fly. My first cup, man. I made me a big old jumbo coffee cup. This is the, it's not dry yet. I'm letting it air dry before I bake it. But yeah, buddy. That is my, wait a minute. <clears throat> whoa, whoa, whoa. My, uh, there you go. My Bonnock coffee cup. <laughs> yeah buddy you know that's what we do here Whew. did that today too actually i did that today while it was raining the first time because it was raining and i was underneath here and i'm going dang you know i was gonna what am i gonna do and then i looked down that bucket and i thought oh the clay and i saw that it pulled away from the, the side of the wall of the bucket so i knew the water was pretty much all out of it you know and so I uh, pulled it out and go, hey, I can do it. So I sat there and did it. And just about the time I got finished, it stopped raining. I also, on top of that and on that and probably something else, I came over here to remember uh, the, uh, my little setup for the turtles and crabs or whatever. I put, this was an existing pipe, old one sticking out. This was old. So I just put a coupling on it. And put that valve there this was another one that was sticking out so i put it on a valve those will be the those will be the uh you know release valves to empty the empty the water so to speak in my tank out here and i also put a um, valve on this tank so the water can come out it'll just come out of here and fill in here uh, this tank was existing right it was already here so what I decided to do, other than putting that valve on there, was, uh, so now I have, I have 16, well, I, I put 16 buckets of sand in the bottom and put a blue screen in it, on top of it, whatever. Then I put another 16 buckets of gravel on top, and uh, I think that's enough. It's enough for the purpose, and the purpose is I'm going to top fill this. So the water will filter before it comes out of here. And it'll, it'll filter pretty good. It'll probably filter, you know, 70% or something. Ow! You madre! What the hell was that? Yeah, I stepped on something. Did I just put a hole in my foot? Christ.
No. Whew. But, um, yeah, so I, uh, what I did there was I, uh, right where that pipe goes in, I don't know if you can see it, but it's about six inches above the bottom of the tank. So I didn't want to fill in sand, you know, so I had to, I, I punched the hole in a bucket, in an old paint bucket, and I dropped it inside and, you know, put it over the edge, over the mouth of that pipe. And then I put a, a brick, actually that one square brick that was here. That hurts. Um, I put the square brick on top of the bucket, keep it in place so that all the sand won't fill in the exit pipe. Yeah. So I, I poured in all the sand, of course, covered all that stuff and then covered it with the rocks and all that stuff. So that'll probably uh, prevent all the sand from filling in the exit pipe and coming out into the tank. But I wanted, you know, I wanted to have cleaner water there for the crabs and, and the turtles. I'm not, I'm not gonna eat the turtles or whatever, but although I might catch a soft shell turtle and I'll eat that. But um, yeah, let me put this away. The, uh, the crabs, you know, with cleaner water living in there, you know, and whatever they're gonna be eating, the, uh, they'll just become healthier and better to eat, right? Because I'll flush out all the old stuff in them. Hey man, look at that. Uh-oh. Can you see it? Ooh, that's an alligator right there. Oh, crocodile. Yeah. He rears his ugly head every once in a while. I lose him amongst the, amongst the lilies and stuff, but my wife recently chopped all the lilies back. So he's, he's out and about floating around. But yeah. So yeah, man. Uh, I still think I'm gonna put a gutter on the top though. I don't know if I should put that walkway coming out or that pat, you know, a cover coming out over the stairs. You know, I probably should, but I don't know, man. My my big task is, you know, to finish the sala. <sighs> so yeah, and I all night. Hey, buddy, what are you doing? What? Oh my gosh! What? Yeah, I hear you. I um, I just couldn't decide, you know, how how much effort or how much you know, I suppose money is what it really means. Um, I want to put into the roof because if I make a whoa, I'm turn this around. If I make the roof really heavy. If I make the roof really heavy, then, you know, then I'm going to worry about the posts. You know, the an A-frame, I mean, I'm not an engineer, but I, I can make a roof. You know, I made the roof for that, that patio, but that's really just, you know, I would consider that an awning, not really a roof. Is a roof an awning? I guess it could be. But anyway, um, I thought, well, you know, I'll just make it, I'll put posts on the sides and then I'll do the A-frame. And then I thought if I did an A-frame that the outward pressure against all four posts would be greater than, or it would be like great or whatever, greater than if I had a roof that had four sides where the pressure would go, you know, displaced laterally and uh, laterally both and horizontally, whatever. No, just horizontal both ways, I don't know, how you say, whatever. That it would be displaced that way and then this way too. That, that's just what I was thinking. I, I kept Googling, you know, what has more pressure on stuff I couldn't find. There's no engineers out there. There's a million people making roofs and stuff, but I found this one guy from it was actually a video from like 1970 or something. The guy was like making a video that you probably bought at 
blockbuster store or something to watch on how to make the uh, the the hip roof and um, what do you call it? Yeah, hip roof. And um, he was really good, you know. Old guy, not old guy, young guy, big mustache, bunch of tool belts, you know, outside on a dirt field like in the mountains. And he had looked like he was looked like that's all he did was made videos about making roofs because he had he was doing this and it was he was making the roof but he was doing it on the uh, like on the ground almost you know he had about a he had kind of a fake wall that was only about two or three feet above the ground and so he pretended that was the top of the house or whatever and he would go ahead and he made the you know video and showed you how to do that and then he like you see in the background he had two or three other um i don't know what you call them uh, movie sets or whatever two or three other places where he was doing something similar so maybe he was just making videos and that's probably what he did but uh somebody got a hold of him and put him on uh, youtube or something and uh, anyway he um he made it very simple he's talking very slow and i watched a couple of other ones but i watched i wound up going back and i watched that one like three or four times over took notes and stuff basically took my did my own made my own little workshop out of it in the middle of the night but yeah it's it's uh, uh it's pretty easy to do well i don't know how easy it is to do by yourself i think i could do it by myself i'd like to try and uh anyway the concern is whether i should do it you know and make it out of wood which is like you know the big teak beams well uh, he used two by fours and or two by yeah two by fours and two by two by fours for the common um what do they call them common beams and then two by sixes for the hit beams or whatever anyway uh yeah using teaks beams up there which are they're heavy man and they're just insane expensive it's almost a thousand baht for like one beam now and um or i could use you know the galvanized metal galvanized steel or whatever the steel yeah and um which is also heavy, but I don't think it's as heavy. I've carried both of those around here for the last year, or so I think the metal ones are actually uh, lighter. They're cheaper, I know that. They're still expensive. I mean, I, I would, you know, they sell those in six meter lengths and um, a two by four galvanized, basically two by four four six meters is um, I don't know I want to say 290 baht you know almost 10 bucks a piece whatever and uh, I don't need to make the whole thing the two by fours but I think for the for the um, if I decide to use metal for the supports, that would be a four by four metal post going up and I'd probably buy the one that's, what is it, 2.3 millimeters in the thickness, which is like the thickest they have, I think. And then, um, and then I would probably use that same kind of metal, the 2.3 steel for the square part. Those are like 1,200 baht each. Although it's six meters and I only need it to be three on each side so that I could buy two of those. So that's like 2,500 baht for the squ top square. And then the posts themselves are, I think they're another 1,200 each or 1,600 each, which would be another 5,000 for the, for the four metal posts. And then 2,500 for the four to, to put four pieces on the top out of the two 
and then the rest which are all the the common beams and uh, what they call that the bridge common bridge beam which is the big one the one that grows across the top I could probably make all of those in the in the hip roof um, just the two common ones going this way the two other ones this way the bridge in the middle and then the two hips at an angle coming in those one two three four eight nine ten i think yeah oh and the and the other small hip jacks hip jack beams which are the small ones between the sides or whatever anyway so there'd be like 10 pieces um those could all be i think two by four steel maybe the one on the top would i could double it up and make two two by fours so it's like an eight inch across the top i don't know i have to but uh, the filler the filler beams or whatever aren't really beams those are just filler so that whole hip structure with those 10 pieces is the roof and then the small steel the ones i use for a lot of things around here which are i think one inch by two inch yeah two inch by one inch no yeah and they can be 2.0 in the thickness or whatever those I can use to do all the filling in on the sides so um, then I would you know I would after that I could just put whatever roofing material I wanted to on it I don't know I'm thinking out loud now of course but um, I wanted to try and do it you know cheaper I didn't want to spend 30 40 thousand baht on the roof man you know ideally I would just keep driving around the neighborhood and find one one old teak square four by four or bigger beam laying in somebody's yard and i could say dude give me 500 baht for that or whatever and then you know shave it up and cut it up make it make it look good so i don't use that one then do that three more times so i could have four beams you know four supports save money and then um and maybe even for some of the other stuff but i don't know i need to get it done man the water's coming in so I think my next thing is getting the deck I think I've decided I'm going to put the um, I'm going to use the, the the half inch or maybe it's more than half inch the half inch uh, concrete cement board not concrete just cement board cement fiber boards you know it's got it's got that fiberglass in it, it says you can drive a car on it but so that would be 10 pieces if mine 16 by 20 basically 10 pieces and they're each about 850 baht or something so or 855 baht so about almost 9,000 baht for the deck and then um, I haven't calculated the roof but the roof would typically be it's going to be eight it's closer to fifteen thousand so and then i bought that on maybe before i'm totally done the whole project will be thirty or forty thousand baht but you know hey man when it's all done and it's looking good and everything and i step back and i look at it and i say oh i built that for under a thousand dollars then you know I'll feel good but I don't like the fact that they're raising prices on the steel every other day or whatever and the wood I guess it's being it's you know a couple of the places I go to um, they're not there right now because they're out in the forest you know or out yeah you know, out in the forest collecting wood or they're traveling to find these old dilapidated houses knock down houses and negotiating you know to the owners and buying them and then staying out there camping for whatever however long it takes to take down the whole house then they have to take down the whole house and transport it back to their shop and then actually up there she said that the one lady said the reason it takes them so long is after they take down the whole house 
it takes several days to pull all the nails and so um, and then bring it back and then they after that they still have to clean it up so it's it's you know more and more people are not selling their broken down house so obviously supply and demand right it's gonna be more expensive there you go well that's about it updating here on the farm um, I had a couple of stories I was gonna mention but if, well the one story that's right I'll, I'll share with you real quick for my battery cuts remember that romance scam that I talked about with that one lady came visit the house and then she had also come back and said you know oh you know she told him that he was a liar or whatever and, and he's like, no, I'm not, and all this other stuff. I'm like, he's like, you know, get out of here. Crazy. She came back again today. And she was still talking to him. She just wanted to ask a question. She goes, is it possible that the U.S. Embassy will pay the bills that he owes in China, the bills that he owes for, the, like, the failed restaurant and his rent and and maybe food and stuff like that. Is it possible the U.S. Embassy can help him? And I'm like, what? She goes, well, he, he asked me to ask the Embassy. And I said, well, no. I go, why are you still talking to him? I swear to God, you know, you... And I went, you know, back and forth. I told her, I told you the first time, this is all a scam. He's telling you to go there and you're going to go there or whatever. You're going to call somebody and then you're going to call. You're going to get back online with him and you're going to say, oh, they said they couldn't help. And you know what he's going to say? He's going to say, well, how can we do this? Do you have someone else you can go to? You can borrow the money from? Can you sell your house? Can you sell your bike? Lord knows what she's really done. She did share that she was into it for, you know, a lot of money, but uh, it could be much, much more, you know, and I, and I explained to her today I was like I know it's hard to let go you've been doing this for three years but you gotta stop it you gotta stop just cut 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 you still have a video called with him right I remember even after all this and you're you're telling him he's a scammer and all this stuff he still won't be able to video call you because <laughs> he's not there and it's not him and he's not even American so he wouldn't even go to the American Embassy but anyway um, I told her just forget it come on come on I said, if you come back here the next time and tell me you continue to talk to him, I, um, I'm going to slap you. <laughs> she started laughing. But um, anyway, yeah, what a, what a crazy thing. My wife is actually just coming back in her new Hyundai. Not new. <laughs> it's the same exact car we had in, in, in uh, yeah, where are we having a second? Oh, no, no, no. We had that in America. Yeah, her, her, actually her brother-in-law had that car. We bought it from when we moved here. It's pretty cool. She just came back from going across the street to the neighbors who the neighbor's daughter is going to the school to drive to get her license. Um, and it's cheaper if you actually know how to drive. So she went over there to let the daughter drive her car so she can feel better about going to the school tomorrow or whatever I guess and saying yeah I know that's right <laughs> hope that works out but uh yeah I mean you know if she's just out of college she should know how to drive or get her license or whatever she's doing the school like my wife did where you pay to go through the whole school and then the school people are the ones that take your paperwork over there and do all that and you get your license uh, a lot easier than the way I did it or the way other people do it without going to school because the school is like 5,000 baht or 6,500 baht I think if you need to use their car something like that anyway uh, that's enough of that there is a just started today I think um, out by the river by the Mayping River uh, they're you know they're getting ready for the boat races right and then there's so the whole river road is all full of um, food vendors and um, 
it's just going to be a fest for, for probably a couple weeks. So, although it's, <laughs> you can see how that looks, man. But uh, we're we're probably going to go out there and eat. That'll be another video. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. And keep watching, and we'll get back at you here from the Monarch.